So now let's see how we can actually go ahead and make a workflow preset inside of Adobe Briz. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto Windows, then onto Workspace, and I'm going to go around onto the workflow interface right here. So you can also access the workflow interface by going around onto the workflow section. So this is what you have, as you can see. So by default, there are no workflows. But if I were to go around over here and select a workflow over here on the left hand side, you can see the workflow right here. For example, you got the battery name first, then you got the change format and resize too. And if I were to go around onto custom workflow, then you can see that I got more right here. So let's create a new workflow right here. So once you go ahead and do that, you have an option to choose a task that you want. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go to resize to right here. And for resize to you got all of these details, as you can see. So you can resize the image to, let's say, for example, 50% or resize to fit a certain um, uh, dimension right here. You can also choose the way the resize actually happens right here as well. So preset name will be, let's say, for example, custom for uh, sample right here, just like this. I can also go ahead and add in a new task right here and add in, let's say, for example, um, I can change the format as well. So I'm going to go around, change the format to, let's say, TIFF format right here, just like this. And compression is going to be none right here. And bit depth is going to be eight bits, let's say, for example, and save the transparency as well. Then I can go ahead and apply other things like include metadata. You can apply metadata templates right here as well and then even go ahead and apply different uh, keywords as well, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and say YouTube, and then I'm just going to go around and say YouTube right here. So now in order to go ahead and save this particular preset, you can go around and save this out. So over here, you can see that I got the linear fashion of this particular task. I can also go ahead and change this out right here. For example, first it can change the format, then it, it can resize and apply metadata, for example. You can go ahead and click on save, and then you can see that custom for sample uh, preset has been saved over here in the works, uh, workflow section right here, just like this. So that is how you can go ahead and make workflow presets inside of Adobe Briz. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.